Hi friends, welcome back to my Kotlin tutorial. So today we will talk about functions in Kotlin. So let's get started. And so basically functions are used in programming languages to like organize the code and also to reduce the codes that we are reusing more often in the programming in the program. So uh and also like there is one function that we have been creating all along till now. So that's called the main function. And this function is more likely the built-in one. Like we have to use this function to get our program executed and um, also there's other type of use uh, functions that's called user defined and basically that's something we create so uh, we will cre i will create a function called uh, maybe like greeting and what this function does is that it's gonna just print hello friends so i'm just gonna do that hello friends and uh, since this function is not returning anything and it's not uh, getting any values when it is called uh, so basically this is a normal function which doesn't have any parameter and it's not going to return and you can like uh, uh, declare the function it has a unit type so what what it does means that this function is not going to return any values and um, if it does return any values it's going to throw some exceptions or errors so basically uh, I just have to call this function using the same name greeting that's it so this is how functions work like I create a function and I declare a return type for it I put my code and wherever I want this particular greeting I can just you call the name of the function so this is what functions are in simple words and there are uh, like um, let's say um, okay so I want to create a function to compare two numbers so I'm gonna create another function let's call it fun max I want to find uh, which is the maximum integer in these two so I will create first integer uh, and call it int so these are the variables that are gonna be like passed when I'm calling this function max like I'm passing the value from one place and to this inside this function when I want this to run and also I will declare the return type of it because this function is do going to return an integer so I'm going to type int so what it does is that the compiler just recognizes that this function when it just calls it's going to return an integer type so now we will go into if and we will create a, like we will compare a is greater than b and if this is the case I want to return uh, a and else that is, I'm going to create else part and if this is not is the case I want to return a B so it's basically a simple program okay so if a is greater than if a is greater we want to return a if not we're going to return B and I will go back here and um, uh, let's say uh, I will call a variable called um, num whatever it is and I will like put uh, 3 and 6 and as you can see the IDE like kind of recognizes that 3 is A and 6 is B and I just want to print uh, print Alan the largest number is uh, let's say num and great so I will run this code and we will see what's the output so we get the output as largest number as six it's obvious and i can just change the values and something else and i can run it again to show that this is like whenever i want i can just call the max when if i want a greater number so this is basically the why functions are used like i don't want to write this whole code again and again if i want to compare two variables this is the simple example that you can take and instead of writing these two lines if i can just make it as an if expression and i can just call assign it to a function uh let's see how we can do that so i can i'm just i'm going to convert this whole line and just going to create a function so i will call it max and same as a equal to int and b and it's also in int and it's going to return an integer type and i will assign it equal to what I'm doing is that basically I'm assigning this and I'm going to use an expression here so I'm going to use an if expression and I'm going to say is a greater than b if, if this is the case I want to return a or else I want to be b yeah that's it like basically this is the stuff and if I'm going to run this code 
I'm gonna get the same output as here so what it does is that I'm just I, like I have a single expression a single line code and I'm just gonna assign it so I will get a if the condition is true if the condition is false I will get B and this is basically what the max function itself okay so now that uh, we have know this now we will look into the parameters and calling parts so base uh, like uh, usually this is called parameters and this is called arguments so I'm call whenever I'm calling the function I'm passing values into it so now let's look into a bit more uh, practically um, available example so okay. so now I will clear all of this and we will create a example that's gonna be like more useful for us so let's say I'm gonna create a small program where it has some it stores some kind of um, code on related to some categories of topics and we will uh, let the user to select a category and we will just uh, print some funny codes related to that category or to that topic so it's basically like mm, a randomly generating thing uh, it's gonna be like small program so we will start with it so first I will have the main function so it's called main um, I'm not gonna touch it and for now so I will create another function where I'm gonna get the values from the user so let's call it like choice or maybe like get user choice so get user choice and I don't want to get any values from the user and it does gonna return some values so I will uh, I don't know it so we will uh, declare it initialize it there later on so first things first I will create a variable and it's gonna be called choice and it uh, it does it is a string because uh, I'm gonna get a value from the user and uh, it is a string okay so I'll show you in a minute and there will be another thing called code and it is also a string and we will create another variable uh, called final word or uh, should I need that maybe not okay now I want to print my values so I will ask the user to select an option so let's say like enter the sorry wait a second enter from the choice from the options below okay uh, and I'm gonna show some options so I will print that uh, let's say CS for computer and cat for okay and on the next line we will ask the user to type the input okay oh one second okay and uh, now we will just get the choice from the user so choice uh, equal to read line dot uh, to string uh, um, I have to convert this to string because the value I input will be a nullable variable and I want like I have created the variables as a, a non nullable variable so I have to convert it to strings like basically the same data type I'm using and now I got the thing I, I'm gonna return this value like return this uh, to my main function so what I'm basically what I'm gonna return is a uh, choice of the user so it's gonna be like choice and also since it's a string now I, have, I know it's a string so I'm gonna declare it as a string and I think this is not needed since I'm not using any code here so first I need to get the choice so I will create another variable here called where choice and equal to I will just um, get the user choice so basically now I have a choice so that is next I have to create my next variable where I am going to store my codes in it so I will call it uh, maybe like store okay it doesn't hurt right and what I'm gonna get from here is choice since I know that I need I'm gonna pass my choice into this function and this function also stores all the codes and it will return the choice like it will choose it will compare the choice and the function uh, code and it will return the code okay I know I'm kind of confusing sorry about that okay so choice and it's gonna return a string again because I know like we are gonna return the code outside okay so inside this what i'm going to create i'm going to create variables that are like i don't want to change these variables so yeah and these are all array so array mm, of i'm just going to copy paste some codes here i will create another variable um called cat 
and it will be also an array so uh, array of and again i will copy paste some other codes okay um, now we have uh, two variables and what i have to do is right uh, i will check my choice first of all so like choice equal to equal to is it cs or is it cat so whatever it is and if my choice is cs what i have to return is um, any one value element from the array cs so basically what i'm going to do is go on, uh, call the array cs inside this what i want is the uh, random one so what i'm going to do i'm going to call the math function and it has a very it has a uh, inbuilt uh, function called random and so what this does is it gives me a value between 0 to 1 point uh, or point 0.9 okay so any value and i'm going to multiply it with the array size so it's basically going to give me an integer and yeah i'm going to convert this to an integer so you don't have to worry if you don't understand that what i'm doing is that i'm just using this thing to select a element from these um, array variable so if choice is cs that's what's gonna print else i'm gonna print uh no i'm gonna use if else like if else if uh choice equal to equal to cat i'm gonna return like let's say cat sorry and uh, a math function dot random multiplied by cat dot size and i'm converting this two into a integer so these two and if my input is something else i want to return a message um, saying that the value entered is wrong so your choice is incorrect your choice is incorrect okay so that's it like this is my function that stores value so whenever i'm going to get some value i will compare it here and i will go through all of these functions and i'm going to return a thing okay so now i got my choice so i'm going to what i'm going to do is that uh create a variable called um, code and i'm going to call the store function and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass the choice okay so basically what uh, this does is i'm going to uh, store a code inside this variable which i got selected from here uh, also i will create one more variable to show you guys that actually we can pass uh, pass multiple variables inside this so i will show you how we can do that um i will create a variable called uh, a string variable called final word okay and equal to let's say uh thank you for watching watching and what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna create another function uh, i'm gonna call a function here so i will call like uh print uh, no print is like uh already a uh, inbuilt function so i can't use that if i'm going to use it it's going to override my function it's going to cause a lot of error and i'm going to pass two values one is my code so code and another is, is my final word okay. and i'm going to define my function printing function here so fun printing and it's going to get two values uh, i'm going to call like code again i'm just going to use the same thing and it's a string and another one is a i'm just going to go final word and it is also a string and this is not going to return anything but i'm going to use like unit because since even though it's not returning anything uh, i'm just explicitly saying that it's not going to return no matter what and if i'm returning something please give me some error and all i have to do is like uh, print the final result so print ln the uh, no like i'm just going to uh, print the code and another print ln and inside here i'm going to say final word that's it so now we will run our code and see what we're going to get so here 
the output so it's asking me enter choice from below like cs or cat i'm gonna type cat and press enter so there i get a code and thanks for watching so this is how functions basically work i can just rerun this code and try if i'm getting something randomly and i will explain like this it's basically like math.random gives you a random number and you multiply it with some integer value because size is never less than zero like size always starts from you know one like there should be at least one element and if there's no it, it only makes sense if there is element and you're gonna select randomly so yeah so it's gonna give some values like from one to whatever the size of the array is and if you multiply it with that you get some value and um, if you convert it to integer like all the decimal parts of the floating values will be just erased and you get the integer value and that's it's like basically selecting from brand selecting random shit okay now i'm gonna rerun the shit and also uh let's say cs and i'm get one value and i'm gonna rerun again okay or oh, let me rerun it sorry and uh, i'm typing again cs here and i get a different code that's it for today guys thank you for watching kindly please share and subscribe see you guys later until my next video